in this trial. I want to bring back a criminal defense attorney, Maria Hale. So, Maria, how, how impactful do you think this day is for the case and for the jury? Uh, because for those jurors, they really had to tune in. A lot of uh, uh, detailed forensic testimony going on today. Testimony today and a lot of evidence. Um, first of all, what you talked about already with the shoes, and then of course now with these hair samples and, and trying to figure out why there's no chemicals found in the hair sample. Uh, so it was it was a pretty good day for the defense in that respect. So, and so Ashton, he tries. So let's go back to the first witness, who was a geologist, and then the basis there was she really zoned in on three pairs of shoes that were Casey Anthony's. And could she pick up any soil on the shoe that would connect to the crime scene? No. And then Jeff Ashton comes along and says, well, you definitively can't say those shoes were never there, right? Does that nullify the testimony, blunt its effect at all? What are your thoughts, Maria? I think it does. I think it kind of makes it just a wash. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do as criminal defense attorneys. We try to, to pick at reasonable doubt by either going at their lack of evidence, which in this case they're saying there wasn't any evidence to suggest that any of those shoes were at this site. Um, but again, if, 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 there, if these were not tested, if these shoes were not tested, as a criminal defense attorney, we'd say, well, you didn't even test the shoes to see if there was any linkage between those shoes and the site. So, uh, for the prosecutors or for even law enforcement doing the investigations, they have to test everything. Even if, even if they find out it's a negative, they have to test it. And that's what the defense is doing. They're hoping, hoping that that resonates with the jury. Gotcha. And, and the same thing uh, with the witness we're currently listening to, Ashton's take is, your testing does not definitively tell us uh, that those were, well, that little Kaylee never had any of these drugs in her system, right? Of course, essentially what it's saying is, I don't see any evidence that she that these shoes were worn at the scene, but I can't tell you that they weren't, and I certainly can't tell you that she wasn't there, maybe perhaps wearing something else that wasn't even found in the home. I mean, I, I would have think she would have gotten rid of it, right. but who knows? Yeah, okay, we're gonna continue, Maria, thanks by the way, we're gonna continue to listen to the testimony 